Commissioner uh, Jeff uh, Saltzman here of uh, the sitting in uh, program. Hey, uh, folks. Like, I can take over and do a few questions here. My aunt, I can hardly hear myself. Oh, no, no, I got you shut off here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, nice. There there you hello, Mud Bone. Can you still know? Thank you for having me on the Mud Bone Show. Let's welcome PJ Wright, Dave Pegg to the Woo-hoo. East Coast World Yay. Headquarters of Home Ground Radio and Jay. Yay. Yay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've met, we've met before, Peggy, PJ, pleasure to meet you today, first time, and uh, the one question I have for you today uh, is for Peggy. Um, I love the Nick Drake Writer Later album, and I was reading some liner notes on it, and it talks about how the string arrangements are superb with sympathetic backing from the likes of Dave Pegg, Richard Thompson, Dave Maddox, and John Cale. The songs really grab your heart. To give us your thoughts and some of your uh, remembrances of working mm-hmm. with Nick Drake. Yeah. Oh, that it's was a, it's one of my favourite albums, Jeff, of all times. It, it, it's one I still right? love to play. And the album was done very quickly, and m- most of it was done live. Robert Kirby was the guy who did the string arrangement. It's a wonderful arrangement. He's still, it's still around today. In fact, another chap called Steve Ashley, who, I don't know if you've heard of Steve Ashley, he had an album out last year and Robert did some arrangements for that. But the Brighter Later album, it was recorded at Sound Technique Studio, which is where all of the Fairports and the incre- Incredible String Band used to record, and also where the first two Pink Floyd singles were recorded. And in fact, the engineer was John Wood, who did all, all of that stuff, and the producer was Joe Boyd, who also produced the first Pink Floyd single. Um, it was a fabulous studio of sound techniques. And Nick was a, a wonderful performer and most of that stuff was done live. In fact, with Nick playing guitar and singing live and drums and bass, other stuff was kind of overdubbed. It was only an eight track studio. So it was wonderful to be in the studio with him doing it. it was, Nick was not a very confident performer, to say the least, and he was you know, never, you could never tell whether he was happy with what he'd done or not. But, I mean, that album stands up as, as being a really great album for me. But he was, he was very introverted and you couldn't tell. He never told you what he thought about the performance and stuff. So it was quite difficult to know whether he was having a good time. Uh, I never ever knew him have a good time, personally. But, uh, but it's a great album and it stands sure up. It, Specifically, which tracks did you play on? Um, I think I played on about half of them, and there's an instrumental track with Richard on, which is, which is a really nice, I can't remember the title. Well, you have a wonderful memory for detail, obviously, this is 27 years ago. Yeah, well, uh, it probably is, yeah, but um, it was a great album to play on, you know, just just really good, and, and, and it's great that it's still alive today, despite the fact that, that Nick isn't, because he, he died only a couple or three years after that album was made. and. It's good because lots of young people have picked up on Nick Drake. In England, I get people coming up to me and going, oh, are you Dave Pegg? And I go, yeah, do I owe you money? And they go, no, we just want you to sign a, a, a Nick Drake writer later album. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's amazing. Really, that's an incredible album. Yeah. And, uh, you know, your work with Fairport Convention and Jethro Tull and with PJ, we really appreciate you having here and thanks for the remembrances. Well, we've had a great afternoon. Yeah. Mm. Thank you guys and girls. We have time for one more, two more. <laughs> we've got a want. special treat though. Oh, we have uh, Miss Deborah Rodershaw, who's standing lion seat, maybe sitting in on the harp. We are the harmonica. Right <laughs> All right, let's see what happens, folks. Homegrownradio.nj.org. Thanks, Mr. Mudbone. Thank you, Peggy. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, Jeff.